In this video, I'm going to show you how to add a second profile to your browser so that you can be in two separate accounts at once. So perhaps you have a work account and you're using Teams at work on your desktop, or perhaps you have a personal Teams account and you want to have that open in the browser, or you could work with more than one organization and want to have both Teams apps open at the same time. You can achieve this with one in the browser and one on the desktop. So we're going to come up to your picture here where you're signed in and I'm going to add a profile and then I'm going to click add and then it's going to take me through a wizard. So I'm going to sign in to synchronize my data. Now you'll see that Veronica at Tomorrow's VA is already there because I had to test the steps, uh, although I knew them, I always test everything before I record it. Um, so her details are there. But if it wasn't, I'd click work or school account and then it would ask me to log in with Veronica at tomorrowsva.com and her password. So Veronica is there. I'm going to continue and it's going to say, do you want to sync your browsing data? I'm going to say yes. This means that my data is synchronized to the cloud. When I open the Veronica uh, installation on my other laptop or on my Mac or on my phone, I'll be able to see all the same information. So we'll confirm that and you'll see that I'm now on the Veronica's start page here. And I can see that it's Veronica because there's her avatar and I can switch between me and Veronica with the click of a mouse, which means that I can have the two open. So let me demonstrate what that means. So this is Veronica's account. I'm going to go to Teams for Veronica and what in the browser. So here I am in Veronica's browser and it's going to say, OK, who are you? It's going to check which you want to know. We're going to wait for it to go into Teams and it just takes a moment or two. And I'm gonna to go to the calendar. I'm just gonna dismiss that. And there is a meeting. So Veronica is gonna join this meeting in the browser and allow microphone and um, camera. Uh, oh no, I thought I clicked allow. So let's go up here and see if we need to allow. Uh, continue allowing, yes. So we're gonna allow that. And for now, I'm going to continue without. So Veronica's going to join this meeting. And because she's actually part of the team, it's going to let her start the meeting. So I'm going to go down to my desktop teams. And there's my meeting in the desktop. I'm going to click join. So I'm now joining from the desktop app. And in the browser, I'm just going to come in here and turn off the microphone because otherwise we're going to have a nasty echo, which we still might have. So here I am as Shelley up here. I can change the gallery and make the gallery at the top. So the gallery is at the top or the bottom. So I'm going to make sure I keep the gallery at the top. It means I can look at the camera and I'm up there and I'm going to start presenting. So there you have it, how to add a second, third, fourth, or however many profiles you want to your browser. So here, Veronica is here. I can switch back to my own um, browser and there is my browser and then I can switch back to Veronica. So I can have completely different things open and I can get to, I can set up all Veronica's shortcuts in my own edge, I have my frequently used shortcuts here. You can personalize what you see and how your Edge browser displays. And it's a really cool feature. I hope you enjoyed that. And comment in the video, comment and let me know how this is gonna help you going forward.